cerebral palsy gala silent auction is happening tonight. The event is at the Hilton Orlando Buena Vista Palace. It starts at 5:30. There's a dinner and a silent auction. Tickets are still available. You can go to ucpcfl.org for more information. And joining us to talk more about cerebral palsy is Dr. Carl Barr and the acclaimed actor R.J. Mitty, who you might recognize as Walter White Jr. from that little-known show Breaking Bad. I don't know if any of you've seen it, but good morning, guys. So great good to see morning. you. Thank good you morning. for coming in. Dr. Barr, I'll start with you. Let's talk about cerebral palsy. What should people know about cerebral palsy that aren't aware of it? Well, cerebral palsy is a kind of combination of a number of, of variations of uh, disorders that are primarily related to problems that happen in the perinatal um, area, right? So they, it's mostly involves motor coordination and spasticity. So mostly what people identify is with a pattern of speech that they have because of dysarthria related to motor control of the mouth muscles and also movements where they have stiffness and spasticity so their movements are somewhat altered. What do you think is most misunderstood about CP? I think probably the most misunderstood thing about CP is that people will see the way that the person's bodies move and then they don't um, realize that the person is actually a, a real person who for the most part their mind and their personalities are not affected by the um, cerebral palsy. And RJ, your role on Breaking Bad brought a lot of attention to cerebral palsy and really your performance in that show transcended so many different topics including any sort of disability. What's been the reaction? You know for me it's been a really good reaction um, for not just me but for the whole community in, in cerebral palsy as well and in that what you said is it, such a big um, big misunderstanding about what CP is because it isn't it doesn't affect intelligence a lot of these disabilities that people perceive uh, as oh that person is unintelligent it, it's actually the contrary because you have that limitation in one aspect of your life but you're able to branch off in so many things and because of Breaking Bad I, I have that pl that platform to work with amazing people like like uh, like we have here today and, and UCP in particular and you know, Breaking Bad gave me opportunity that I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be sitting on this couch if it wasn't <laughs> for the show. And I, I'm very blessed and lucky that I've had that and been able to not just play a disabled character, but play a real person. You know, when you see characters with disability on film and television, you usually see them victimized or overcoming something, never actually just a person. And with Breaking Bad, we had that entity. We had a character that wasn't being a victim. And, and yes, there were some circumstances where the whole family was victimized, but you saw a, a real family. You didn't see someone that was struggling and overcoming something. It, it was just happening as circumstance. That's why I think your role was so transcendent on that show because the disability aside, it was really a story about a family and yeah. so many people connected with you for a number of different reasons. So what an awesome opportunity for you to be able to educate people now and going forward. Well, there, there's so much we don't know about the human condition, and I, I really feel that we, we have an obligation to bring that awareness about what we are as an entity. You know, we, we try to look at so many things that we can't figure out, and we try to explain it, but we need to look into, to figure those out, we need to look inside ourselves. And we have amazing men and women that are working on that as we speak, and, and occupational therapy and physical therapy and, and the therapy is such a big part of any it should be a big part of everyone's life but definitely a big part of people's lives when you have a physical disability and bringing that understanding and, and showing how normal it is in people's lives is something that I feel that is very important to me. And one last question before we yes. let you go. Better Call Sal comes on here. Are you going to be yeah. making a guest I, appearance? I will any not. Chance? No, sadly oh. enough, I will not. <laughs> but, uh, but my friend Giancarlo Esposito, who yes. is, uh, plays Gus Fring, he will be a part of the show. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm not really informed too well with, what, <laughs> with what's happening, but, uh, but it looks amazing. And Dr. Barr, where can people get more information? Well, uh, they can go to the United Cerebral Palsy website to get information about the organization and uh, what they do and more about cerebral palsy. There's uh, 
you know, like anything today, you can Google it and get a lot of information as well. And you need to be careful too sometimes, yes. right? You, you uh, will you both be, be at the event tonight? Yes, we will. Yes, we will. We will. We will be causing trouble there and, uh, <laughs> and, and eating some good food and. <laughs> and uh, raising some stakes on that, but, um, but at the end of the day, I, I just want to say that each disability is very different. My, my CP is very different from anyone else's CP, and vice versa. And, and what works for me will not work for everyone else, and what works for them will not work for us. So if, if you have a kid with a disability and, you, and you're trying to get help, find not what everyone else is telling you works, find what works for that individual. And, and at the end of the day, just live your life. That's all we're trying to do. And with these organizations and these fundraisers, we're, we're just trying to, to better the lives of, of children and, and that should have those lives. And we can do more to make that happen. RJ Mitty, thank you so much. Such a pleasure. Dr. Barr, thank you so thank much you. for sharing your stories and your insight. Incredible stuff. Brooks, we will send